So welcome to the Arnold Beckman Rotunda. This display was uh, built by us with funding from the Beckman Foundation a few years after the building was completed. So first, let me tell you a bit about Dr. Arnold Beckman himself. Um, he was born in the small town of Cullum, Illinois in the year 1900. His father was a blacksmith, and he got interested in chemistry from finding some books in his dad's attic. When he was 12 years old, his family moved to Bloomington, which is where he went to their University Laboratory High School, where his chemistry teacher actually took him here to this campus on the weekends to do some chemistry experiments. After graduating from high school in 1917, Arnold enlisted in the Marines to fight in World War I. He did not actually go into combat, but that is during training in New York City. That's where he met his wife, Mabel. So after the war, he came back here to this campus to do his bachelor's and master's degrees in chemistry. So he is an alumnus from our campus, and uh, since then he had led a very distinguished life. He founded a couple of different companies, which eventually became Beckman Instruments. So over here on this part of the display, we uh, have some examples of his innovations in chemical instrumentation. That's a heliopot here, which is uh, used in airplanes for navigation. We have the, one of the first versions of the pH meter for measuring the acidity or alkalinity of materials. Beckman Instruments was also famous for its DU spectrophotometer, its ultra centrifuges, oxygen analyzer, and Today, Beckman Instruments still exists as Beckman Coulter. So, in the 1970s, Arnold and his wife Mabel established the Arnold and Mabel Beckman Foundation, and in the mid-1980s, they decided to use this foundation to make a number of major gifts to universities. In the mid-1980s, the Beckman Foundation made five major gifts to five different institutions, and we are the only one not in California. And our Beckman Institute is the physically largest of the Beckman Institutes, and we have the most diverse research portfolio. So this gift was made in 1985. At the time, that $40 million gift was the largest gift ever to a public university. We also had a $10 million in additional gift money from the state of Illinois to build this building. This building is 313,000 square feet and about 1,000 people work here every day across a variety of different research areas. And so that is how this Beckman Institute came into being.